these are assembly instructions for my Valentine's Day bucket. I'm going to start with the larger piece and they're these little rectangles at the top. I'm just going to fold downwards for all eight of them like so. So now all these vertical score lines, I'm going to fold them down as well. I'm going to start with that little tiny Finton tab. And then I'm just going to keep going all the way down doing all eight of them. And now I have my base piece. Now my base piece has eight little rectangles on its perimeter. There are visible score lines you want to just fold down on all eight of those score lines. So at this point it's easier to decorate the exterior of my bucket. So I've got my top folded downwards. So you have to be careful where you're positioning these pieces. There are two pieces with little circles cut out of them and they belong over the cutouts for the handles. And you have the regular pieces, like so. And then you have one piece that has a little cut out here, just a little slit. And you want to go in with your pokey tool and just make sure that that, that that slit is properly open. And it's going to be placed right here because you want this piece centered between your two handles for your image. So the first one is plain, second one has a hole, third one is plain, fourth one has that little slit, fifth one plain, next one hole, and the two others are plain. We're not going to glue this one down yet, so I'm just going to glue the other ones down exactly as you see them, trying to keep an even border around the edges and the score lines. So now that I've glued down all my panels, I'm going to put glue on one of these rectangles, it doesn't matter which one, and I'm going to grab my side piece. And I'm just going to glue that rectangle in between the score lines. So my rectangle fits exactly in the middle of these two score lines, like so. And then I'm going to put glue on the rectangle right beside it. You can either go left or right, it doesn't matter. And then just do the same thing. Just making sure that the score line hits the point of your octagon. So the octagon has these points where the score lines change direction. And you want your score line from your panel to hit right at where that little point of your octagon is. I'm doing that for the one next to it as well. And then I'm going to go back to where I started and work on the panel right beside it. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just gluing the bottom of my panel down to the base of my bucket. I'm just applying a little bit of pressure as I go to make sure that my glue takes. I have my two last flaps left and that's where my panel is joined together. So what I want to do is I'm going to glue down the one with the flap first. I'm just putting glue on that rectangle. The flap is here and I'm just gluing this down to its corresponding tab. And then I'm putting a little bit of glue just on the corner underneath this tab. So on this tab, but just at the corner here. I'm gluing my tab down. And now I'm putting glue basically in an L shape all the way down. All the way down my tab and on that rectangle at the base as well. And just joining my piece up like so. So my bucket has already formed and I have these flaps at the top. I have a little hard border that's cut out of the band that goes around the top. And I'm just folding down on all the score lines. Now the reason why I have two of them is because this, this piece together was more than 11 and a half inches so I had to break it into two parts. So next I have them side by side. I'm going to put glue on this tab. Now there's a cutout in this tab because there's a heart on the next part of the band. So I'm just putting glue all over my tab. A little bit odd shaped with that cutout. I'm just going to glue those two sections together like so, so that it makes one continuous band. So this panel that I've left blank is going to be my front panel. I don't want my join for my panels to be right in front. I want maybe one over. I've got the one with the hole. I'm going to start with the one next to it. 
and I'm going to glue that on top. Just putting glue along that flap and here's my join. I'm just gluing that down to the flap. I'm leaving the smallest of borders at the top. Then I'm going to glue over the next tab. And so I'm just going to continue gluing down each one of those tabs. Just wrapping that band around that top portion of my bucket, gluing my border to the top, like so. When I'm doing things like this, I like to do the join last because it's usually the trickiest part. So I've reached that join piece and I've put glue on both these tabs. And I'm also putting glue on my little join tab on the side. So I'm just going to glue down the tab flap first and then I'm going to glue it all to that panel and then I'm going to join my top like so. Next I have my little image for the front of my bucket. I've cut out of uh, remnants of some smart vinyl. I had a small scrap of smart vinyl and I just put it on a regular mat and cut it on the smart vinyl setting and this is a very well loved very well used piece of transfer tape i keep my transfer tape and reuse it a few times because when it's less sticky like this it does the job quite well and it doesn't tear my cardstock i have this one piece and it has score lines on it i'm just folding down on all those score lines so there's three on one end and three on the other end i'm using my scraper tool to help me find those tiny score lines you have three sections, then a flat section, and then three more sections. You want to fold backwards on this score line, and then fold forwards again. You're going to do that on the other side as well. Fold backwards, and then fold forwards again. And that way your piece meets at the middle, like so. I'm going to put glue on the underside of that long section. And I'm just gluing each side down. And so this will make like a little T. So these pieces I'm going to fold back on themselves like so. And then my T becomes an I. So I'm threading it through the slit that I made in that glitter card stock. I'm folding those flaps back so that it creates a little bit of dimension like so. So now I'm just going to go in there and put glue on the back of those flaps and just flattening them down onto my panel, like so. Then I'm going to put glue all along the back of this panel. I'm taking my bucket in one hand and I'm just sliding this piece so that I want approximately an even border all the way around like so. And then I have my little cherub I'm going to put glue all along that flat piece and I'm just centering my cherub as best I can in the position that I like. A little bit of eyeballing here. I'm just applying pressure so that the image sticks. Then I'm going to take my handle piece. Now it has holes on each end and I have some brads and these brads are relatively big and they fit nicely into the holes like so. Now, if you had some heart-shaped brads, that would be even better, but I don't. So I'm just inserting my brad into the little hole on the side and then, and then opening my brad like so. And then bringing that, I'm bringing my handle to the other side where that hole is. I'm inserting my brad on the other side and then opening my brad, like so. And there you have it, my little Valentine's Day themed bucket.